You're all alone. A David among Goliaths. You see the gap. You drive to the hoop and... Stuffed again. Did you ever wonder what it would really be like to slam and jam with the big guys? Well, you'll never soar with eagles wearing turkey shoes like these. Step up to Air Boomers by Nuki. Air Boomers, the explosive jumper, contain a secret mini thermonuclear electronically detonated inner sole, guaranteed to extend your vertical leap by 72 inches in 0.02 seconds. Air Boomers, the explosive jumper by Nuki. Takes a little practice. <laughs> Hello? John? Hey, Chuck! Oh, man, I'm, at it. I'm really glad I got you. Listen, I'm really in a hurry. I've got to catch a plane in 25 minutes, and I'm going to be out of town all weekend. All weekend? Yeah, listen, this is very important now that you call that booking agent first thing Monday morning and cancel our appointment. Okay, first thing Monday morning. Right. I'll give you his, his number. Are you ready? Oh, wait, wait. i got to huh? get a pencil. Her, John, hurry up. <laughs> Oh. Hurry up, John. I really have to go. <whistles> Hello, John. Okay, you ready? Okay. Okay, his number is 555. 555. 5555. 55. 55. Hello, John. Hello. Oh, my darling. You look especially ravishing on this special night. Yes, Dixie Bell, this is the most important night of my life. I have loved you ever since we were children, Dixie. You have always been my one and only true love. And now that I've inherited our family estate, the time has come in my life to choose someone to share it with me. My love for you is higher than the tallest mountain, wider than the biggest ocean. Life Without you, my dear, would be unbearable. You are my sole reason for living. Will you marry me? Yes. Cut. That's a take. Turn it. Terrific. A very touching scene. That was excellent. Good job, both of you. Great acting, Jim. And now, Houlihan and Big Chuck present yet another in a series of... Looney Legends. Many of you, I'm sure, are familiar with the legend of Hans, the little Dutch boy, who saved Holland from flooding by putting his finger in a hole in the dike, thus becoming the little hero of the Netherlands. Well, little be known to most people, a similar feat of heroism was taking place in a certain ethnic country 
at the very same time. This is today's legend. Let's watch. Oh, Mr. Rinaldi, long time no see. Ah, Mary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can I do for you? Well, you know how crazy I am about pro football, and I really miss watching it. Yes? Well, I got to thinking the other day, and I said, I wonder if there's a pro football in heaven. Well, you want me to see if they have pro football in heaven? Can you? Well, I'll give it a try. Well, I have good news and bad news for you. The good news is, yes, they do have pro football in heaven. What's the bad news? You have a box seat on the 50-yard line for this Sunday's game. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Spill the Beans, the award-winning controversial interview show where our guests think on their employers and associates and tell it like it is. And here is your host, Everett Strongheart. Good evening. Tonight we have perhaps the most important and historic show in our proud history. I'm sure you are all aware of the organized crime trials that are being held here in our fair city trials that are at a standstill because no one has taken the stand for the prosecution. No one will name names. No one will point their finger at the mob leaders. Well, tonight, live here on our show, we have a guest who will name names. Tell us, the police, and you, all at the same time, just who these mob chieftains are that are operating so freely in our city. Now, this station has paid our guest a great deal of money for this information. So for his own protection, we will refer to our guest as Mr. X. And to further hide his identity, we will lower the lights like this. Now, Mr. X, are you ready to spill the beans? You bet I'm ready. All through the trial, a prosecution has been after Dominic Lolly. He's just a hitman. The man you want is right here at <clears throat> City Hall. That's right. The Honorable Robert P. Green Mr. is the head of a nationwide <laughs> crime syndicate. Prominent people on his payroll. TV broadcaster John Winfield. Excuse me. The big restaurant tycoon Tim Isofano just up front. And the biggest crooks of all in the commissioner's office. Hap Hallis and Lou Gatozzi running numbers game Mr. all X, over the can state. I just interrupt Ask you the for suburban us. mayor Tony Blue why he has two hitmen on his payroll. Before we go any payroll. further. And that's not all. Mr. X, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, but uh, we're in the wrong chairs. <laughs> In the beginning, Vetronics created the electronic home protection system that works the first time, every time. The bugger. This is a typical friendly home. And this is your typical not so friendly burglar. But this home is protected by the bugger. This burglar's attempt to get in is greeted with a blinding light and screaming sirens. And this is important, before he gets in. The bugger also turns on your lights waking you up and it automatically sends for the police. With burglary, you don't get a second chance. That's why you need the bugger. It works the first time, every time. 
The Bugger offers you new affordable security and insurance because of our breakthrough in sonic electronics. And if you call now, we'll also send you this pamphlet on 24 ways to stop a burglar. Call now. Don't delay, because when it comes to home security, you can't trust any second-rate system, any cheap... What's going on? Hey, wait, what's the matter? You got the right to me? We got him, Chief. We got him, Chief. We got the burglar. I am going to give you that. I'm doing a commercial. And now, Houlihan and Big Chuck proudly resent the certain ethnic snowblower. Ah, yes, sir. What seems to be the problem here? Well, Doc, I just felt fine this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, when I got up, I took a shower, I shaved, and then right after I got dressed, I couldn't lift my head. Yeah. It seems to be stuck in this position. Mm. It's stiff. It moves a bit from side to side. Well, look here. Uh, but, oh, it's hurt. Well, uh... Mr. Rinaldi, I think I'll be able to uh, relieve that. Oh, I'd appreciate that, Doc. Good, I hope. Let's uh, see here. Okay, here we go. Hello, my name is Everett Strongheart, and I own King City Home Healthcare. I would like to tell you how you can get this lift chair at no cost. This is not a gimmick. This is a legitimate program. If you are enrolled in Medicare Part 21A, then you probably are old and need a chair like this. Many people suffer from arthritis when they get old and they cannot get up from a seated position. This chair will give them the independence to get around and prevent injury to family and friends. Just call the toll-free number, see not. It's a toll-free number. Step to the rear, please. Next time, you know, like, step around to your yeah. bus. It's going to be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. They make these aisles so small and yeah. Guys, yeah. please yeah. move to the rear. Doors open. Yeah, but we got one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Everett Strongheart, owner of King City Enterprises, makers of the one and only health lift chair for old people who have good Medicare ratings. This is not a hoax or some kind of joke, and you can stick Uncle Sam with the bill, but be sure you get the original lift chair designed specifically for old people with good Medicare ratings. 
As you know, all lift chairs offer one speed lifting ability, which may be too slow for some of you senior citizens. This is why you must insist on the original lift chair with four speeds, regular as you are watching now, or you may want to switch to medium, which will give you a faster lift. You'll be out of your chair and up and about in no time at all. Only King City Medicare lift chairs offers you the four lifting speeds for your convenience. If you are the more active type, you may want to try our third speed, fast, which will pop you onto your feet before you know what happened. Our last speed, supersonic, is only recommended for the young at heart. Just turn the switch and you're out of this world. <laughs> and remember, you can get it free. Table for two, please. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I'm awfully sorry, sir. Gentlemen without uh, neckties are not permitted in here. What? Sir, please, I, I, I cannot permit you to enter. See, you must be wearing a necktie. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard of. Look, look here, I, I have money. Sir, sir, I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. See, the dress code was established here many years ago when the restaurant first opened. That's the dumbest rule I ever heard of. I drove all the way down here. And this is all I don't have a you. Sir, please, don't make a scene or I'll be forced to call the police. Okay, look, you say all I need to get in here is to have a stupid tie on? Yes, sir. Okay, buddy, I've got a tie on. Hi, Dick. This is Chuck. How you doing? Hey, Chuck. What's up? I was just talking to little John, and he told me that you just bought a snowmobile? Yeah, I did. Dick, you son of a gun. Sort of feeling your oats in your old age, aren't you? Well... A snowmobile. All right. Look, I'm going to be in your neighborhood this afternoon. Do you care if I stop in and take a look at it? Oh, come on over. <laughs> okay. See you in a little That's bit. That's a deal. Okay, Bye. Chuck, see you. Hey, hi, Chuck. How are you? Hi, Dick. Come on in. Thank you. <laughs> You're in. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a look at that bad boy. It's right in here. You keep it in the house? Here it is. Isn't that a beauty? <laughs> the, the hexagonal. Yeah, Should have known. Six sides, it's kind of like a, a doily. Remember Grandma's doilies? I mean, it's it's nature's jewel. It's a jewel. Oh, I love that. That's nice. I'll tell you. It, I, I've got a, I've got another one.
Something there, old timer? Yeah, I lost one of my contact lenses. Oh boy. Well, here, let me give you a hand. Contacts. Those things are hard to see. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere down here. You sure you lost it right here? No, I lost it down there by the bus stop. By the bus? Oh, and why are you looking for it here? Light's better. Ha <laughs> ha! 